love message for June 2020. Okay, angels, let's get right into, oops, that was, that one was, yeah, yeah, that one was for real, for real, angels, for real. Okay, angels and guides, angels and guides, whoa, okay, so the angels are being a little bit aggressive here. Yes, 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 angels and guides, positive energy, positive energy, for Virgo. Yes, yes. I feel like I feel like one more. Yes, yes, yes. Just one just one more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you angels. What is going on for Virgo for the month of Yes, yes, yes. For the month of June. Positive energy for the month of June. Angels and guides, angels and guides, we're looking for blowing some love in for Virgo. Yes, yes, yes. Positive energy for for Virgo, thank you, thank you, thank you, for the month of June, yes, 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 I feel like that goes there, I feel like, yeah, I feel like, you know what, I feel like I need to keep on shuffling, that's what I feel like, <laughs> okay, angels, positive energy, thank you, thank you, thank you, we're going to keep that right there, moving on to the purple deck, <laughs> yes, 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 angels and guides, angels and guides, we're looking for positive energy, Blowing in some love for Virgo. Positive energy for Virgo for the month of June. For the month of June. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, that's way too many. That is way too many angels. Way, way too many. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. For all of you guys that are in a very beautiful love bond. Yes, 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 angels. What is going on? I feel like... I feel like that goes there. You know, I'm just gonna leave that there because I feel like I feel like it needs to stay stay there. Okay, so and we're gonna turn it around. We're gonna turn that around because these we turn around. Okay, you're like Dora, just get on with it. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, angels, positive energy, positive energy for Virgo, positive energy for Virgo. Yes, 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 and we're moving on to. The hummingbird deck. I love the hummingbird deck. It's so, they're so, they're so cute. <laughs> You're like, Dora, just put those daggone cards down. Okay, okay. Now remember, guys, remember, if this is taking too long, you guys know what to do, right? You take that little button right there and you kind of move it. Yeah, fast forward. Angels and guides, we're looking for positive energy for Virgo for the month of June in love romantic love yes 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 positive energy for yes 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 for oh and then there's a four <laughs> for the month of june yes 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 for the month of june and thank you thank you thank you thank you there we go okay so we're going to top it off with the rider deck yeah you're like dora how many freaking cards <laughs> how many because i you know this is this is a crazy year okay <laughs> this is a crazy year we need as much information as we can yes 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 positive energy positive energy for virgo yes 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 positive energy for virgo for the month of june in your love love life <laughs> okay all right so let's get let's get in Okay, I'm just going to tidy up a little bit. If you can bear with me another second. Another second. Okay, so major theme for the month for Virgo, June 2020. We have compatibility. Yes, yes, yes. With a sweet delight. Oh my God, this is so sweet. Yes, yes, yes. Very beautiful, beautiful compatibility. There are new beginnings on the horizon for you with the four of clubs and you know it. You know it. Yes, you do. With the Queen of Clubs, I definitely feel like you are ready for a new beginning. And you're like, okay, I'm, I'm, on, I'm thinking this, and I'm going to think that, and I'm, I'm going to do this. Right, right, right. Because I feel like there's something that you are definitely walking away from this month. You know what? You know what? You're walking away, but you know, this card always is just, you know, you're walking away, but you're like, 
am I really walking away? Am I really walking away? I feel like with the two of diamonds, you're like, I'm not so sure, but dang, I sure do want that new beginning, right? Maybe what you want, you're walking away from something for a new beginning, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Right? I'm not so sure. Okay, so when we look in the recent, in the, in the, um, in the recent past in the recent past we have sexual freedom and we have the angel of happiness with a sacrifice card with the king of clubs and the two of hearts and the temperance card so in the recent past i definitely feel like there was kind of like an emotional disconnect yes 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 and i feel like that emotional disconnect made you happy oh yeah with the angel of happiness because you know what you were sacrificing. I feel like there was a bit of sacrificing going on. And with the King of Clubs, you knew that it was the right thing to do to disconnect emotionally to your love relationship. And you had to be really, really patient in that. Um, I feel like in that disconnect, right? I feel like um, I feel like the more I feel like you really didn't want to disconnect emotionally, but and and it felt like a sacrifice to do so, but you knew it was the right thing to do for the love relationship. And you know, th there's a lot of patience going on with that in the recent past, okay? Now, in the middle of the month, in the middle of the month, you have connection with the angel of serenity, um, movement choices and decisions with the stand your ground and the ace of spades with the six of spades and the nine of wands. So I definitely feel like in the middle of the month, you're, you and your partner, you and your love partner, are really really connecting you're really connecting right and you're feeling good about that you're really feeling good about that but then there are some decisions that need to be made mm -hmm. really some some decisions some choices that need to be made and once you make those decisions you have to stand by them okay Virgo you have to stand by them this is a new beginning for you with the ace of spades this is a spiritual new beginning it's like a, a begin an ending and a beginning with the six of spades this is a faded event in your life You've been through a lot. All I'm saying is you've been through a lot, okay? So whatever this new beginning is with this Ace of Spades, I feel like this could be a faded new beginning. I feel like... Um, I feel like this goes back to the, to the front. I feel like to the beginning, to the main event of, of this month. I feel like there is an element of making a decision. Maybe it's a decision between two th people, or maybe it's a decision between, um, do I want to go forward or do I want to, you know, go to something new, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's, 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 you know, go to the near future, okay? So to the near future, we have forgiveness. We have fulfillment of wishes. We have the angel of rescue, the mental conflict, the ace of clubs, the king of spades, and the hermit card. So I definitely am feeling by the end of the month, you are in the forgiveness mode. Yes, you are. And when you forgive, I feel like there is a the fulfillment of wishes, the angel of rescue. I feel like, I feel like someone you feel like someone needs to be rescued. Yeah, you feel like somebody needs to be re rescued. And I feel like there's a mental conflict over that. Like, do you really want to go? That's what I'm feeling. Do you really want to do that? Do you really want to rescue someone? Do you want to rescue your partner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or do you want a, a equal partnership, right? With this Ace of Clubs, I see you coming up with new ways of thinking about the situation. It's going to be with the King of Spades. It's going to be really, really challenging to, to come up with these new ways. Do I want to do I want to be the Superman or do I want to be the Superwoman? Do I want to save them, right? With the Hermit card, I see you kind of, you know what? I want to say shutting down. You're like, you know what? I don't know what to do, so I'm not going to do anything, right? That's what I'm thinking. I'm not going to do anything. Now, when we look at your bonus, you have boundaries, you have commitment, you have angel of fidelity, you have the angel of alchemy, the waiting game, the six of diamonds, the seven of spades, and the devil card. So I definitely feel like your boundaries are really important to you and you are committed to those boundaries with the fidelity you are honoring you are you are way honoring your 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 boundaries whatever you set nobody's going to cross them 
you have the, you're committed to your boundaries. You are um, you you're honoring them. It's almost like you're married to your boundaries, right? And with the angel of alchemy, I see you creating um, distance with the waiting game. I definitely see you creating some distance with the six of diamonds. I feel like it's going to last a little bit because the seven of spades is saying you are really tired of this. Yes. You are really tired of this, the devil card, being feeling like you are tied to something that you cannot remove yourself from. Um, like, it's almost like, I, I feel like you, you don't want to do this anymore. Okay, you just don't want to do this anymore. So I definitely feel like there is a decision that needs to be made this month. Um, there is, I feel like, I feel like you're going to be walking away from something or someone. I feel like you're going to be walking away from someone, but you're not so sure of it. And I feel like you're not so sure of it because of the devil card. Sometimes you feel bound to something that doesn't feel good. Like, you know, it's almost like, you know, you want to quit smoking, right? You're bound to that. You're addicted to that. But you really don't want to do it anymore. You're tired of smelling like smoke. You're tired of your clothes smelling like smoke. You're tired of your lungs having to breathe. You know, your lungs having to work extra, right? But you but it's hard to let to let something go that you've been doing so long, right? So you don't know what to do. You don't know how to do it. So I feel like you're just kind of going to go within and take some time out for yourself, okay? Yeah. So, I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.